This anime is so troll. Because when I was in the opening reaction in the beginning, I saw the title. It was like light and light magic and some bullshit, right? So I'm like, wait, wait, wait. I thought this was level 9 and villainous. They started doing the ultimate game opening. I'm like, oh, okay. What, what's going on here? And they started showing me all these different characters. Like, this is not this anime. And then at the end, they actually showed us the real opening. It's a, it's a twist, right? I think they kept it pretty fresh. I think it was a very unique way of introducing this story because technically, Umelia is the main character. She already played this ultimate game. She doesn't give a fuck about the ROM part about this game, though. She only cares about the combat. She's a hardcore gamer. She's been farming optimally in dungeons for 10 years with two times the XP with complete monster provoke, easy clears. I'd like to think that she already hit the level cap by the second year and all the other different years we just kind of wasted but that's just my head cannon and we've entered a school where every husband though is fawning over the pink hair girl oh my god me, 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 me. she got light magic shut the fuck up we got dark magic we're like a fucking demon lord right we accidentally became a demon lord of the show she's supposed to be like the end game boss and the best part the magic orb thing, right? They're like, oh, fucking show us your power level. She touches it. Oh, level two. All right. Level three. Okay. <gasps> level 15. Masaka. And then everybody was fucking hyped up, right? Well, I think one of the husbandos, the uh, red hair guy got level 15 or something. He was like, <laughs> yeah, pretty cool. Umelia walks up. Oh, shit. Please, please. Level 99. Entire school fucking abrupt. I love cliche moments like this. It's pretty much the only reason I'm watching this show. What a power fantasy. I hope they can continue delivering on that. Let's begin today's reaction, though. All right, starting off right back where we ended. 99, baby. Kyujuki. Yeah, this guy is super salty, right? Get the fuck out of my face. We're the real main character. Okay, this guy... I jokingly said in the troll opening, not the real opening, the troll opening, he was shown as one of the background characters. So I'm like, who is this dude? Background character 397? No! He is the main love interest for Yumili in the opening! This guy matters, what? When did you even hit the level cap? Majikayo? <laughs> <laughs> no, we, we didn't, right? What's her excuse? Okay. Oh yeah, we rigged it. Yeah, it's cheating. So many monsters since we're a baby. That's a very good point. They just brought a completely new one in. And they're accusing us of tampering it. You just brought a fresh one out! <laughs> okay, whatever. O Ultimate game logic. Darkness. They're what the fuck? We're a fraud? Alright, who else wants, wants to go up? There he is! Hi. Patrick Ash Baton! That's NPC number 397! What level is Patrick? Wait! No! Wait! Wait! No, no! You can keep listening to the opening! I gotta cook my fucking dinner! I'm not gonna be able to eat for an hour after I'm finishing the reaction! Where's Patrick at, man? NPC number 397! Gray hair dude! Red her guy. Oh, he's still jealous, right? What about it, huh? We gotta fucking fight him immediately, dude. What pride? You didn't cheat? Oh, the crown. No, he's the second prince, right? He's not the crown prince. Darkness. Darkness. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Central wannabe? Didn't work hard enough, dude. Yeah, but do you even know what a two times EXP boost is? Do you? You don't. You don't even know how to fucking provoke all the monsters. You don't have to fucking waste your time moving around in the fucking cave to go after each one of them. This piece of shit doesn't even know how to fucking farm pr pr properly. Trampled? 
Yeah, we should trample him seriously. We should seriously just trample him. Yeah. We should straight up just call him the second prince though. That'd be actually a roast in itself, huh? Yes! <laughs> Let's fight! Dude, what the fuck? We're not even trying to flex. Conquerable. Straight up, just call him the fucking second prince. Every time, we should call him by his name. Like, no, not his name, his fucking title, right? Oh, Mr. Second Prince, how are you doing today? I wonder if he has like a insecurity about that. All right. The red hair guy is always just a fucking muscle head. Magic user probably, yeah. Cool headed glasses guy. Yeah, they got all the tropes. The three fucking idiots. Let's go. She never cared about the romance aspect, right? I like this chibi uh, mode from Umelia. Yo, why don't you test her then, huh? 3v1 right now. Yeah. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Can we just do that though? Oh, come on. A little, little flex, little flex. Yeah, the pink hair main protagonist. There she is. Did you guys see that? Did, did you guys just see that? Look at this shit. Only the pink hair girl is actually drawn. Every other character in this frame is like a CGI doll, dude. <laughs> and they wouldn't even show the face of one, two, three, four characters because they know it would look so fucking bad. In fact, this blonde guy here and this blonde guy here are probably copy pasted models, dude. Yes, once classes start, you'll see. You'll fucking see. Arisha. Okay, that's her name. We're not picking him. Nope. Nope. Oh, she didn't hear about it. Is Rita conveniently leaving that out, maybe? The insult. The insult. So I think central wannabe implies that like the city here, like the kingdom, the most like where every cool people are, the more like developed modern people are in the center. And like the urban, like the suburbs, the boonies, right? The country bumpkins, they're like outside of the center, right? So by calling it central wannabe, it's implying that because the countryside folks, the bumpkins fucking sent their kids into the center. Now she's like a central wannabe. You're like, you trying to be a fucking city kid? Fuck you, you countryside bumpkin. I think that is the insult, right? Smart girl. Yeah, darkness are a bunch of country bumpkins. Central and regional. Okay, regional's outside, central's inside. Okay, 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 okay. It's a, it's a slur for anyone that's not from here. Okay, okay. That's pretty mean, man. I mean... She's absolutely true. She didn't take any offense. In fact, she turned it around and just fucking insulted back. Your darkness, Eumelia? I like her a lot. She's great. Rita doesn't know what to say. Right, they said they find out when the classes begin. Hey, I see the CGI again. What the fuck is going on here? Come on, man. She wants to be decor. It's impossible, though. Maybe this is super hearing. I don't know. Okay, so it's like it is super hearing so she can hear all the fucking, you know, gossip about us. Ooh, light magic. We shut the fuck up. We got dark magic. <laughs> oh, yeah. Because the, 
we heard her guys straight up was closing the gate so slowly as soon as she was rising to the gate. It's like, oh, I'm sorry, I gotta close this shit. Interesting how he has no prejudice against her, even though she's a commoner also from the outside. But again, central wannabe is for like, you know, regional nobles that come inside here to work, right? She's not really that, so yeah. <laughs> Common trope of ultimate games being changed in the order of like operations. Like things are, di different things are happening because she's already kind of, kind of like changed the story, right? That's what happened to Mob Psycho 2. Leon's involvement just make the story go all wonky and change. Yeah, yeah. I'm understanding the meta of um, ultimate games more and more now. <laughs> But it shouldn't be the other way around too? Does light only have the advantage against dark? It's not the other way? Alright. What's that look for, bitch? Mm, I don't like her. Hey, NPC397, that's gonna be our main man. Patrick. Who the fuck needs swordsmanship? We got like dark. We can like create a dark black hole, can't we? Aww. I really like little cheapy Umelia moments like this. Okay, she really likes the swords. Yo, red hair guy versus Umelia. Yeah, versus red hair guy. <laughs> Oh, here we go. Here we go. Now, if I know anything about these kind of shows, power fantasies, you know, OB character trying to be a mob character. Ooh, you know this guy's about to get fucking dunked on. He was talking a lot of shit for a level 10. It's like, oh, you fucking cheated. You did all that shit. We'll see when the class starts. Oh, we will fucking see. Then again, this is a swordsmanship fight. Not like a battle of death. Hey, there's Patrick again. <laughs> wow, cool. It's not how should I defeat him. It's how should I hold back against him. We're not even doing the same thing here, William. Get the fuck out of my face. Kill him too. Physical attacks are also incredibly strong. All right. Just fucking, I don't know. I want him to get embarrassed in the most like ridiculous, silly way. Like, I don't know. She fucking trips and accidentally fucking throws a sword and, you know, like gamma from Moonus and shit out and he just fucking dies from it. Something super embarrassing for him. What? What stance is she taking? What about it? I, I I don't know. Like it doesn't look like there's a huge guard, but look at it. She's ready to fucking draw from underneath. I don't know. It, it looks okay, right? It looks okay. What, what are you laughing at? I like the stance. Oi, the virgin fucking saber duel. <laughs> but Humilia just like the fuck you gonna do? Shing! Come on, I like Humilia's stance. <laughs> His, his, his entire life has been just training with the sword. So now he's about to get destroyed by a girl who doesn't even know how to use a sword. This is gonna be good. Mm. Dunk on him. Fucking destroy him. I am Atomicus' ass. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so he trips. And then, you know what's gonna happen? This should be a moment of, <laughs> what a fucking idiot. No, everyone's gonna be like, boo, you cheated. Not playing fair. Shut the fuck up, bitch. This made him fall. This made him trip. What's their reactions, though? What's their reactions, though? They're gonna say it was lucky or some bullshit, right? Nah, nah. But we are a beginner. What now? Too slow, man. Did you hear his fucking... 
is a little derpy but like it's hilarious i don't know if it's intentionally trying to do this but this is even better that he's going nah! as he falls back like this <laughs> oh he's still falling he was still falling there what a long fall <laughs> he's gonna die dude he's gonna die <laughs> let me just drag it like this so wait their reactions aren't like oh you cheated no that wasn't fair they're actually kind of impressed hold up the other girls are pretty intimidated too they're all scared huh I thought they would do the classic thing of like still looking down on her saying, oh no, you cheated. He wouldn't do something like that. But oh, okay. They're like kind of scared now. <laughs> Imagine we still have someone in black. Oh, 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 <laughs> what she about to do here? I'm atomic and coming, dude. She's about to do a fucking Excalibur level attack, right? <laughs> no! Did you guys see that? Watch the smoke here. Watch the smoke here. Okay. Do you see the smoke? It's a little... Um, is, is that CGI? It is CG smoke. It's not a big deal. I just noticed that. I'm like, well, that looks a little weird. She just continues to swing there. <laughs> Dude, she's going to change the landscape. Oh, magic time! And join the other group! Edwin is the second prince, right? Oh, this is where we're about to pop off, man. I feel like this is a CGI armor, right? It is, right? I think it is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it is. Fire ball! Wow! He wind attack! Water splash! Oh, Patrick! Patrick! Patrick's on Earth. Patrick's on Earth. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, bitch. Oh. How is that amazing? How is that amazing? Oh, she went was And then it was like... Oh my god, it's so cool. Light magic is so amazing. Shut the fuck up. It's not even amazing. They are glazing her up, bro. Alright, he is supposed to be super strong in magic, though. What does he use? Winds? Okay. But, like, all of their attacks barely moves the armor, you know? It's just like... <laughs> it just shifts a little bit, you know? And they're so proud of it. This green hair dude shot the wind magic? And he was so confident in himself. He's like, hmm, yes, watch me. Watch me make the armor move a little bit. Yes. <laughs> All right, Umelia, dark magic. Let's... Oh, okay. Oswald just flexed all elements there. Okay. You know what? Like, that's kind of impressive, right? Compared to everyone else. If you're able to, like, you know, use multi-elements. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll give him a dub. You know, he's still, he's still a cocky little piece of shit, but okay. Okay. A prodigy, huh? But do you have dark magic? Do you have dark magic, though? <laughs> Are you sure you want to see this? Oh, oh, it's gonna be good, man. You don't need him. You have dark magic. Break? What do you mean break? They were all just barely moving it. Okay, so it's like a special reinforced armor. That's why all those magic spells were just basically kind of moving it. So 
What do you guys, like, you guys already fucking lost it, so don't tell me. But here's my guess, right? Just breaking it isn't, there's gotta be something even crazier. Is it just gonna be shattering the armor? Maybe it's gonna be something like that. I don't know, I want something like super ridiculous because they said we can't break the armor. Palace Mage. Okay, new things we're learning. Palace Mage is strong. Royal Palace, okay. Break it. Fucking break it. Disintegrate it. This is such a tiny attack. Do you know that Dark Flame, compared to all her different magic, is probably so weak, right? Look at this. Look at the size of this. Dark Flame. Oh, wait, wait. Let her cook, though. She knows, though. It's dark magic. Yes, she knows. Oh. Oh, it's actually just disintegrating it. Nani! <laughs> the CGI, dude. It's not hot? It just melts stone and metal. Basically, this is acid attack. Alright, okay. Yeah. Yeah, we should use it on him. Dark magic! Oh my god. They're gonna start going crazy, right? Dude, look at him! Look at Mr. Oswald! Like, I'm such a prodigy, yo. I bet he wishes he could use light or dark magic, right? Because in this world, that girl right here, the pink hair girl, she's super hyped up because she can just use light magic. Like, the little, little boop on the armor, it doesn't matter because she has light magic, right? But light and dark are super special attributes. Oswald can't fucking use it. Loser. Are you sure? There have been palace mages in the past who used it, but I thought like only the demon lord is able to use dark magic. That's why people are scared. And what do we see here, guys? Bottom right corner, CGI NPCs. <laughs> Patrick's scared of it too, man. Yeah, then why can't you use it? <laughs> Yo, this is such a bad look on Oz. Like, why would she even say this out loud? <laughs> I'm supposed to be a prodigy of magic! So, so how can there be a better magic user than me? Like, shut the fuck up! Why are you saying this out loud? It makes you look so bad! Okay, this is straight up a tantrum now. He's just a baby. What a fucking loser. Just runs away. Just runs away. Alright, peace. Oh, it's the prince! Hey, second prince! What? What is this bullshit? He was just trying to get her expelled the entire time? Yeah, 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 yeah. How about we destroy the kingdom then? <laughs> Emily is like, you know what? This, is, this place is actually kind of trash. I'd rather actually live in somewhere else. You know what? You're bringing up a good point. <laughs> But the magic teacher acknowledges her power, huh? Yeah. We melted that shit down. Really? Wanna fight that? Yo, let's fight the headmaster right now. Mm, it's like an arms race. He's not thinking about that, though. That's why he's the second prince. Not even close. <sighs> Show them your magic at full strength now, please. You know what? Of every character at the school and part of the school faculty, they've all been else. This lady, though, I like her a lot. Summon Black Hole right now. Do something crazy. Do something crazy. Come on. Into the sky? What's she about to do? What's she about to do? You asked for it! Edwin will be. She's actually worried about the consequences if we shoot something into the sky. What the fuck is gonna happen? Is she gonna cause a fucking dimensional rupture? Oh, okay! The strongest dark magic spell. Okay. Black, black hole. What's she gonna do? So it is just a fucking black hole. You say you're gonna take a... What are you gonna do? You say you take responsibilities. 
So the entire school just gets engulfed by a black hole? <laughs> the entire kingdom, dude! You had everything you could even use a black hole? <laughs> Everybody's gonna fucking get sucked in, I don't know. <laughs> the soundtrack is pretty good right now too, huh? Okay. Yo, suck in the prince. He sucks. Yo, these poor civilians. What the fuck? Look at the size of this thing. It just encompasses the entire fuck. Can we just stop it? Is it just an off button? What do you mean? Okay. Off, off button. Off button. Off button. Yo, Patrick's still there. I see Patrick. Look at this dumbass fucking head mistress, dude. He's look at sorry, the headmaster. Look at him. Look at him talk all that shit. No, oh, you fucking lied about your power. Fucking prove it. <laughs> PC. Shut the fuck up, bitch. Is that enough? What do you think, Denka, huh? This there's a little bit of a shading in her eye right now, right? This looks very disrespectful. This looks very condescending from Gimelia, huh? She's definitely flexing here, huh? So smug. She changed her voice there too to be a little bit more polite. And that is the episode. What a fucking flex of an episode, dude. Everything here was just everything I wanted and more in a power fantasy. You know, people doubting us. Oh, what power level are you really? It's like, oh, 99. It's like, you liar. You want to try that? We'll see you in class. Oh, absolutely we will. We fucking destroy this guy. He sent to the fucking hospital immediately, right? Bro fucking got sent flying. He was like, oh, this was like a fucking 10 minute fall, dude. We tripped, then we fucking destroy him. Bro actually fell for 10 minutes. And then fucking Ozzy, dude. Ooh, look at my multi-element magic. Shut the fuck up. Little black flame disintegrates the fucking armor. Only palace mages can do it. We can do it too, by the way. And Ozzy fucking... I'm a, I'm a prodigy, dude. I'm a, I'm a prodigy, dude. And he just runs away crying. All these fucking princes are little baby bitches. And the prince at the end too, huh? We just straight up humiliated every one of them. One by one. Summons a fucking black hole. Again, not full power, by the way. Not full power. It's almost there, but not full power. The magic that the only the demon lord and Yumilia can use. At this point, there's no shot. They can like not believe us. Right? They have to. But at the same time, it's going to be interesting to see how they can kind of prolong the hype. Because now everyone's kind of aware of our power level, right? And I think the ending will become crucial for that. Ojo-sama is somehow super important to the plot. Ojo-sama is somehow cheating on the prince against, you know, the pink hair girl. I don't really know. I think she deserves better, man. I hope we go with the Yuri route. I hope that Yumelia and Ojo-sama... Yuri ship. Fuck Tenka, dude. But hey, if you're still here, if you did enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlists for more content. And until next time, take care.